Today we're going to talk about the concept of messaging. Not messaging in terms of sending text messages or communicating on social media, but messaging in the context of software architecture. What is it and how does it benefit or improve any platform? How does it benefit or improve the architecture of your system? Now, to get a good understanding of what messaging is or what the concept of messaging is and how we can help your architecture, we we'll need to take an example that describes some of the problems that messaging can help solve. So let's say you have a platform that allows users to manage their finances. They can create an account, they can come in and impute their income and expenditure for a certain period of time and also generate PDF reports. Now, let's say you've built this particular platform using a microservices architecture and you've ended up with two services. One service, the user account service, manages creating accounts and anything that has to do with managing a user's account. And then you have the financial management service, which handles inputs of someone's income, expenditure, and the generation of reports, the PDF reports. Now, everything is working fine. You now get to 10,000 users, hundreds of thousands of users, millions of users on your platform. But then you realize that things start becoming slow. So even if you have multiple instances of these services, you realize that the user experience is dropping. Now, after investigating, you find out that the real cause for the system slowing down is because you have millions of users, a percentage of them are generating reports. And because report generation consumes a lot of resources, it slows down the financial management service. And because you have tightly coupled the financial management service with the user account service, users are unable to create new accounts. And by tightly coupling these services, I mean that when a user creates an account, because the user service only handles managing user accounts and not the entry of financial data, the user service is tightly coupled with the financial management service because it tells it we have a new account create a space for a user to be able to manage their financial records. And the financial management service is being bogged down by report generation by a certain percentage of your millions of users. Then the whole platform becomes very, very hard to use. The user experience drops. So whenever a user comes to the system and they want to create an account, they get error messages. Because each time they create an account, the account service does create the account, but then it tries to communicate with the financial management service directly. And because the instances of this financial management service are being bogged down by report generation, that communication times out, and then the user just gets an error message on their own end. So the question is, how can messaging help improve the architecture of this particular system? So the first thing we can do is, Take the financial management service and pull out the report generation aspect into a different and independent microservice. When we do that, we want to avoid having a tightly coupled communication between the report service and the financial management service. Because if each time someone wants to generate a report and they click the button and then the financial management service picks the data and then sends it to the report service, Remember the data, the financial data is stored by the financial management service, not with the report service. So when you generate a report, the financial management service needs to take that data and then send it to the report service. We don't want to have that tight coupling, right? We want to decouple that. And we also want to decouple the account service telling the financial management service that we have a new user created. So these two things, we don't want to be tightly coupled. So what we can do is introduce a messaging component. This messaging component would allow the financial management service to publish report generation data and tasks to it. On the other end, the report service would register and listen for report generation requests on this management on this messaging component rather. 
So whenever someone's generate a report from the user interface, when they click a button, the financial service just takes that data and sends it to the messaging component. And they immediately tells the user, your report is going to be generated and then you're going to receive an email with a link to download your report. Meanwhile, the reporting service would have been notified that, okay, there is a new task to generate a report for this user with this data for this period of time. The report service will pick that data, generate the report, send the link to the user for the user to download their report. The other aspect we can decouple is when a new user account is created. Instead of having the user account service directly communicate with the financial management service for it to create that space where a user can manage their accounts, it would instead, whenever there is a new user, it would just take that data and publish it to the messaging component. Once on the messaging component, the financial management service would have already registered as a consumer. So it goes in there, picks that data, and then creates the space for financial management for this new user. By doing this, you find out that none of these three services are talking directly to each other. None of these three services are tightly coupled. Instead, what happens is that each service that is a publisher, in this case, the user account that publishes new user data, and the financial management service that publishes report generation requests, each service that is a publisher will publish this data to the messaging component. And each service that is also a consumer would listen for the messages they're interested in, pick it up and act upon it. And in this example, the financial management service is a publisher when it publishes new report generation requests. And at the same time, it is also a consumer. Whenever there's a new user created, it wants to know what the new, who the new user is, the data for that new user, and create a space for that new user to come and manage their accounts. So this allows us to decouple these systems. And they, they are no longer tightly coupled or dependent on each other. So because it takes a long time to generate reports, the PDF reports, that task would not slow down the system anymore. So if you remember the original problem, users having difficulty interacting with the system because report generation takes a long time. But with messaging, we've been able to take that report generation part out and it is decoupled, it is independent, right? So you can come to the system, create accounts, and it happens quickly. They don't have to wait for the financial management service to create that space for them because the new account creation event is published to the message component and the user just gets a quick response. Okay, my account is created. Whereas at that same point in time, the financial management service is listening for new user account events, picking it up and creating a container, a space for a user to manage their records. So when the user comes back to the system and they, and they want to enter their revenue, they want to enter their expenses, they have a space to do that and they interact with the financial management component. Each time they need to generate a report and they click on a button, the financial management system, the financial management service just takes that data and publishes it on a messaging component. The user doesn't have to wait at that point in time for the report to be generated. They instead get a message, the report is being generated, you will get a link. And then the message, the report component picks up any data for report generation, generates the report, and then notifies the user. So this way, the system has been decoupled. And we did this, and this is possible with messaging. This is how messaging can help. So what are the benefits of messaging? So messaging allows you to decouple a system. Independent components don't need to directly rely on each other. Messaging allows you to decouple them and engage in asynchronous communication instead of synchronous communication. So messaging allows you to improve scalability. In our example, we can have multiple instances of the report service listening for report generation tasks and picking them up and processing it. And you can scale this report service independent of the rest of the system. Another advantage of messaging is that it allows for resilience. If all our reporting instances go down, 
Usually the messaging component has a way of persisting these requests for a certain period of time, such that whenever you now bring back the reporting components, the reporting services, they just come live and start picking up tasks from the messaging component and generating the reports and so on. Messaging allows you to achieve an event-driven architecture. In an event-driven architecture, everything that happens in your system is an event. So you have events taking place and they are queued and kept somewhere. And then you have other parts of the system identify which events they're interested in, picking it up and processing it. Now that would not be possible without some form of messaging. And again, you can see how this allows you to decouple different parts of your system. Messaging also eases integration. Whenever you have a messaging component, it means that you have certain pieces of data and requirements and tasks passing through this messaging component. When you build a new service, you won't need to go back and adjust your existing services. As long as the events or messages that this new service is interested in is published to the messaging component. Once that happens, the new service will just be picking up those tasks from the messaging component as a subscriber. It doesn't need to know about the existing services. The existing services don't need to know about the new service because you have this messaging component layer that decouples all of these services from each other. Now, there are different tools that allow you to implement messaging. You have things like RabbitMQ, JMS, Kafka. All these are tools that let you achieve some kind of messaging in your architecture. So if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. A subscription would really help the channel. If you want to watch more of similar content, you can click on the video on your screen right now.